Hi everyone, uh, Shay is here, and today we'll be teaching you how to float things with this new wooden loft. So I did cover this in one of my previous videos, but I'm gonna feature this as its own separate video since this furnishing has been really important to glitches lately. Now, I know this furnishing got a lot of hate because you can only put tabletop items on it without glitching things, but you can also float ground furnishings now, so there's really no need to um, feel limited, basically. So the first thing we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys is how to float a rug with this thing. It's pretty straightforward for the most part. And you have to remember that the rug has a really high furnishing requirement. So we're just gonna do our uh, place cancel glitch basically for floating ground furnishings. And you can see it just snapped right on up. So I'm going to be kind of quick about this. Now a good idea with the wooden loft is to not have it like above the rug. You want the wooden loft to be touching the furnishing is the easiest way I've found to deal with this glitch. up. <laughs> That's okay. These kinds of things happen. It's a lot faster to use tabletop items, but I'll show you why I'm doing it this way in just a little bit. Remember, if it snaps back to the ground, you're probably not exiting the housing menu fast enough. Okay, we'll do one more. Okay, there we go. rotate it and it should stay there it looks like it's high enough where it should just stay there so we're just gonna leave the housing instance and then we're gonna go right back in and a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I left me making a mistake in the video it's so other people doing this glitch know that it, it does happen frequently I'm not perfect at this glitch but it's just you know, if you're floating ground furnishings, it's just one of those things you have to be really patient about. So we're gonna go- we're going back in the house now. And we can see that it is floated. So I'm gonna take this down real quick. And the thing about this furnishing, this wooden loft I should say, is that it's good for floating multiple things. Not just one at a time, like the Riviera wall shelf. So in this regard, it's an extremely helpful glitch, or I guess, tool. It doesn't work with everything. I should preface with that. It does work with enough things though. So with the wooden loft, we can actually float multiple furnishings at a time. So right here, I'm just gonna place it. Oh far enough over it looks like. It does need to be under everything pretty solidly. As you can see, all of these furnishings have moved up. And it's great for um, lifting multiple things at a time. It saves you a lot of time. Remember, we're having the furnishing 
touched a little bit. The point is the the point of the furnishing is that you don't want to glitch it so high where you can see the bottom of the furnishings because then it's not going to register this top surface. You do want to have it touching those furnishings. should be good actually. So now we're gonna rotate each of these individual objects. I'm gonna remove this wood loft temporarily. You can see it's giving me a seizure already. Now put this back if you want to create a lofted look. Obviously you would put more lofts there. Actually let's make it go like right here-ish I guess. Okay, so now we're gonna leave the housing instance. So you guys know I'm not crazy. And we're gonna go back in. And as you can see, everything has stayed floating. Um, so thanks for watching so much though guys. Let me know if there are any comments about how to float with the wooden loft in the comment section below. Have a nice day!